Welcome to CP101 and this is another update on the Hudson Hornet. Uh, still no paint or anything other than the engine, you already saw that. Uh, what I'm working on is the suspension, the chassis. And um, I uh, decided I wanted to lower the car just a little bit. We're not talking, uh, you know, dragging the ground. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, but I did want it just a tad lower than the uh, box stock height. So, if you, uh, recall the box art. This is about how the car sits. Um, let me get my glasses on. So I'm gonna make sure I uh, I don't want to blur the camera here. Um, but you can see the top of the wheel opening uh, is about even with the very top of the tire. Um, it's roughly around there. It's kind of hard to see since it's, you know the background is black, but uh, that's basically how the car sat in the front. Um, trying to see a better picture. You can kind of see here, but the top of the tire is about even with the opening of the fender. And I wanted to drop that down a bit. So what I did, here is the front suspension all put together which is a bit tricky to get it all together by the way but we got it we had to do some modifications of the sway bar here because these pins they go into a lower control arm they're like a mile too long but anyway uh, here it is and what I did was is I cut you know you have an axle pin that goes through the spindle and the hub you can kind of see it sticking out there so what I did was I uh, I went ahead and put it together uh, like the instructions say to and then I took my razor saw so right here and I cut I cut the hub off of the spindle basically and then I raised the well, hub and, and all up on the spindle um, uh, about an eighth of an inch around there and then that'll you know if you raise it up it drops the front of the car down so uh, that's uh, what we got and I'll be using the stock tires because I like them because there's a nice uh, wide walls and we're going to be using the kit comes with two different uh, hubcaps uh, wire uh, wheels and then your standard Hudson hubcaps which are like uh, the box art here um, like this here kind of like a, a moon style hubcap and I just like the uh, a cap the uh, wire uh, hub caps a little better so we're going to use them with the wide whites and um, now uh, it uh, sits uh, basically I'm not going to set it all up for you but basically now it sits right about here where the top of the fender or, or top of the wheel, wheel well opening is about even with the top of the white wall my, my original plan uh, was to uh, basically put an axle block in here uh, because you know this, you glue the springs on top of the axle housing and I was just going to put a block in there to drop the axle down which again would lower the rear end but this thing is designed to where the axle housing sits on the frame rail so obviously you're not going to be dropping anything because you're already up against the frame rail so it's like what the hell so it's kind of a weird uh, kind of a weird setup that Mobius has on this rear axle that they have it actually sitting on the frame rail really want to take the time and, and follow out the frame rail and then figure out how we're going to do make sure we get the back end even front was pretty easy since they use spindles but uh, yeah, I think it'll be okay. Uh, we'll just have a bit of a rake to the car, so that'll be that'll be all right, I think. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of odd how they went and uh, designed that back in. Um, they uh, tell you to uh, put this uh, brace in. Well, they tell you to put the exhaust in and then the uh, dry shaft in, and then you put this oops, then you put this uh, brace on. Oh, let me get the rear end here. And you put this brace on right here, and they tell you to trap the exhaust and the dry shaft 
between this brace but uh, I'm not doing that because I'm not about to try to paint everything with the drive shaft and exhaust uh, thing you know just flopping around in there so uh, the drive shaft uh, you can actually put in even after that brace is installed you can actually put it in through the front um, it's got a really mile long drive shaft kind of like my drive shaft on my 58 that I had that had a drive shaft the length of a football field <clears throat> but um, it'll go in here uh, through the front <coughs> so we'll just put the drive shaft in that way <coughs> and then the exhaust and well, we're not going to use the uh, stock exhaust anyway we're going to be using uh, this uh, custom exhaust that exit out exits out uh, out the side so it actually goes on top of the frame rail so we're not gonna have to worry about the exhaust so so we're gonna use that but yeah I just thought that uh, rear end the way it's designed was just a little strange I've never seen a model car that had your axle sitting on a frame rail but okie dokie I doubt it was like that in real life. I don't know if any car that had an axle sitting on the frame room. <coughs> Make for one rough ride. Um, what else? I think that's all I have for this segment. I have to decide on an interior color. Um, I have to get online and look at some pictures and to get some ideas for interior color. But um, it's where I'm at on the Hudson. Um, I think it's probably going to be it for this video. We don't want to get it uh, too long. I got to set my table up to paint, and um, I will um, um, get our airbrush cleaned up and ready to go and start painting all these uh, pieces and parts. So. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the uh, next update. We got to close it out. That's it for the Wolfman Jack Show for tonight. Ah!